What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are um, doing a massive unboxing. Massive is such an understatement. You saw the thumbnail. It's a big old <laughs> box of baits. Here's the thing. The vast majority of baits in this unboxing are some of our favorite baits of all time. 100%. And some of the fish catchiness baits of all time from brands that you know and love. And they're also all very affordable brands. It's kind of like bang, bang, bang. And Triple there's, threat. And there's one brand that we're not going to like totally feature in here that may be a oh, new, yeah. new all-time favorite. So what this is, is this, there's a, a larger company, which like we've kind of been like, ooh, that's not good. But like there's this larger company, Pradco, mm. and they are managing slash own all of these different brands underneath uh, yeah. a website called LureNet. Um, this includes, in this unboxing, just to say, <laughs> War Eagle, Booyah, Rebel, Smithwick, Yum, Bandit, Arbergast, Bobby Garland, Norman, Crappie yep. Pro. Did we get them all? There's also a subscription box in here. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. they also have a or subscription is... box. It's this right here, Bait School. It's the Bank and Creek bag. This so is a we're going to get to that in just a second. There's also a brand that we did not mention just now because we decided to put them in a completely separate video because we're that pumped about it. We've done calls with the owner of this company. Uh, we talked to him about like how they came up with all of their designs and all that. And we know that he just smashes smallmouth absolutely all the time. And that is Great Lakes Finesse. And so. I think, and it fits in a category where I've experienced with mm -hmm. all these brands, like extensive experience. Great Lakes Finesse, I haven't, well, we haven't gotten into yet. We haven't mm -hmm. had them on the water, but I think they fall into a, at least where we are in Michigan, because we have so many smallmouth Mouth, they fall into this niche, unique market where you it's niche. like they so fall, into this, fall into this really unique mar like mm -hmm. uh, space where they make some baits that are finessey. But they're massive fish catchers, yep. so I think that's where they're gonna fall. We're gonna do an unboxing. I can speak to all these. I can't speak to how effective they are yet, but I'm. It's one of the, probably one of the brands I'm most excited to try this year. So stay tuned for that video. In this video, though, we're gonna box every other single brand. Trusty and we... Dusties and nothing else. Yeah. So after having a conversation uh, with these fine folks, they hooked us up with basically a giant gift card and they said, go mm -hmm. buy whatever you want on the website, have a nice day, fish it, give it away, burn it, do whatever you want. So that yep. fits, I mean. And say whatever you want, that, which was the most important part. By so far. We promised you guys, if we got anything for free, we'd call it out, right? So we're just gonna do our first look impressions at most of these. And we'll let you know kind of our own gut feeling about certain brands included in this lineup. We tried to get at least something from almost every single brand on LureNet. And we also can speak to our shopping experience on the website as well, which I think is important in sharing mm -hmm. too. So you'll hear the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that. First off. <laughs> We got some pillows. I had to have, as soon as I saw that they made these, I had to have these. Two of my favorite baits of all time are immortalized in something for your head. Yay. <laughs> it's so good. I'm certainly sleeping. This is a hammock Look at pillow that. now. Are you joking? This is going camping in the hammock. Dude, out. Oh, new hammock pillow. New hammock Shut pillow. up. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the Tiny Torpedo and the Rebel Pop R. So Hedden and Rebel which will be featured later. They won't catch fish, but they will catch Zs. Let's go. Oh, you. <laughs> I'm a father. I'm a dad. <laughs> oh, also got this amazing hoodie. So I saw mm. Debo's fishing wearing this hoodie, and I was instantly ready to drive to Iowa. And even though he would whoop my ass Show into mine. the ground, I was ready to fight him for it, because uh, I didn't even know that these existed. But now that I do, True. here we are. Uh, and then Jeff went with this guy right here. Jeff, which is what is that? Which way cooler than Paul's. So that's yeah. a heart. It says made to fish. It's a yum hoodie. It's actually really comfortable. Yeah, it's super nice. Also, they were on sale on the website. So if they're still there, they were like $21. That's free. Which is free for a hoodie. So let's start out at the top with this Bank and Creek bag. This is one that we were excited about. And uh, I'm looking in this bag and I'm already like, we just did a big unboxing comparison of different subscription boxes. Totally this, missed this not having this in there. This is actually going to be the reason, well, yeah. part of the reason why we make a whole other video yeah. of like the best like boxes that you've never heard of because I think that most folks have not heard of this and you should have. So we're gonna show all the baits that you get in this thing. Keep in mind, now this is at the upper echelon of cost for subscription bags. It is $40. So comes with the comes with the plastic. Comes with a reusable Come bag, which this. is far more usable than the boxes that you get. With Wait till you see what's in here though. Yeah, okay. Bananas. So we'll just go one by one. So first off, you get a custom paint scheme on a Booyah One Knocker. The thing with this is something that we called out in our other video. You get like some custom colors. You get like a good amalgamation of baits that yep. are gonna like coincide with catching fish in banks and creeks. Tell me more. So we also got this Bandit in a Natty Light color, which what? is pretty fantastic. Oh! It's the Natty Light, That's dude. dope. Bruh. <clears throat> All right, you get the Bomber Long A. It's a jerk bait, and this color is, 
This is actually a crazy color. Yeah. It's kind of a sleeper, but it would catch absolutely anywhere. There's no situation where this is not going to bang. It's called Mighty Sexy. <laughs> accurate. <laughs> and accurate. Can oh, unless. Oh my the God. OG Little crawfish from Rebel. Yeah. If you were a creek fisherman, like, this is actually very hard to beat. One of the best creek fishing little tiny baits ever. They included what we talked about in that video, which was, hey, what if instead of this big booklet, you just had a little scan code so you could get tips and tricks? Son of a gun! Everybody else should do that. Uh, Great Lakes Finesse. So this is what we were just talking about. So you get their little snack craw. So you get their little ball head jig that is meant to go with this. And this was actually... One of the baits I was most excited to try from Great Lakes. So you're getting mm -hmm. like, to me, this is premium. Then you get another sick combo, which would be the Yum Ned Dinger. And that's going to come with the Yum Ned Heads as well. Green Pumpkin Blue Flake. You can't go wrong. Not a miss. Booyah Baby Boo Jig. So this is a little bit of a swim jig, mm -hmm. but it is very flexible. So you can use this for some bottom contact, yeah. but a nice swim jig. Little guy right there. Because you, you covered a ton of different types of water too. Yeah. Which I, in this whole sack, like you get... The bank fisherman, you get the like pond hopper, you get the river slash creek guys. Mm -hmm. You can catch anything from crappie to giant bass with everything yep. in here. So and you get two stickers. Also won't catch fish. Caught me. Nine baits in here, including the hooks. And so, two stickers and yeah. the in the bag? So technically I mean, seven baits, two sets of hooks, jigs. But the hooks that were in there were like at more least, on the more on the premium side. At least they weren't specialty yeah. eyeless blue circle hooks. Well, and they weren't like <laughs> off, off brand three packs. They were like premium brand regular packs. I usually get three jig heads to a pack with mm -hmm. Grey Lakes Finesse and with the Yum uh, Net Heads. So banger. Dude, that is a banger. I'm calling it a banger I'm off kind the top. Of mad I haven't already had one of those. Next! All right, you guys. So there's a ton of different brands on this website. We're just going to we grab zoom. them at. We got to zoom. We're going we're gonna to go fast, all right? So just bear with us here. We're going to start it. with Bandit. So there's basically three different sort of standard Bandit crankbaits. You can get the yep. 100, 200, 300. Yep. And as you can see, they have different, a uh, little bit different body styles. Mostly diving depth is going to be your difference right so there. So we got the ones and twos. You got your shallow to medium divers. You can't miss with these. These are extremely mm -hmm. durable crankbaits. I'll break one open for you and I'll Jeff will tell you the colors that we picked. Okay, so we got in the 200, a bone with orange belly. In the 100, we got a little sexy shad with some sparkles to it. And we also got this chartreuse and white. And a chartreuse root beer, which is a really, really cool color. Now there are a ton of colors in the Bandit. The, the length of the bill is gonna dictate the difference between the 200 and the 300 for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just a very standard, old school, let's say old school, but like a standard crankbait. They are very durable. I still have like the first one I ever got. And the Bandit yep. 1 and 200 are some of my favorite crankbaits of all time. I've said it on our podcast many times. Love me a Bandit. Great. And this is going to be the case with a lot of these. There are things that you know about. These are known quantities, but they're constantly changing the colors. Mm -hmm. They're upgrading like hooks and small things, but it's just like proven design. And the, most of these are very value-driven brands mm -hmm. like Rebel, Arborgast. Like they just make stock standard, trusty, dusty, always work at a good price. So been around forever and just always catch. And the vast majority of this stuff we ordered ourselves now, a uh, guy over at Pratco did send us like yes. a little box of their newer stuff. So that'll be like the Norman lures and mm -hmm. things like that in here. But most of this we picked out ourselves kind of like this. I don't remember why, but we got the buzz plug. I've never from used Arbogast. one. I've never oh, that's used why. one. I've never used one of these before. So it's a crazy top water. This is, this is a buzz bait. This I just want to be clear. Junior this, is, this is a buzz bait. This is the mm -hmm. junior, but look at this. This is the most bonkers design ever Where'd and if you, you look at this this is this is what makes it a buzz bait you get that little buzz um metal piece up here and look that's an a for arbor gas which is kind of dope uh and then you get the two hook instead of the treble again keeping you weedless but it is a loose hook now that does help you a little bit when it comes to maintaining fish contact but keeps you weedless so this thing is just totally bonkers i have you got to try it bam we did get a mouse one look at that i think we should just do a video on these alone. I would let's, totally let's do fish a these fishing the catch. most <laughs> insane, insane buzz bait ever designed. What the heck? I love it. That's sweet. So this next brand is Norman Lures. Now this is a brand that we don't have really any experience with. None. I think I've gotten a Norman crankbait once or twice in subscription boxes, but that's about it. So I can't really speak to quality usage, any of that. Maybe you guys in the comments below, if you know this brand, if you love this brand, let us know. This is wild. Otherwise, we're just gonna run through these colors real quick. I got some nine to twelve foot divers here. I mean. I'm liking the colors, like good classic craw colors. They look good. I'm going to open this one up because it is freaking sweet. So this is it. the middle end. It's a seven to nine footer. There's two colors that are 
Really, really cool in here. Especially if you're a spring fisherman, this is like a good spring craw color. We got a lot of craws yeah, in Yeah, there's a ton of craw patterns. So this one is Orange Belly Craw. So very creative name, jokes. Uh, but how sick is that? That's it's really, really cool. Translucent from for this side. But for clear water, yeah. banger. We got a whole bunch of the six to eight foot divers. A bunch of different water column depths that we've got here. And then this is the four to six. So this is the Speed and Junior. Look at yeah. that. The quality does seem like really, really good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything amiss here. Yeah. Uh, Speed and Junior. This color is Harvest Moon. Um, I've, heard, I've heard Norman talked about a lot uh, in a positive way. Look so at that. I got some faith. I mean, the hardware looks fine. Yeah. So. And then you do get, I think I showed you guys just really quickly, but you do get this deep, tiny end. This is probably going to be the one that's going to do catch the most different species. Table Rock Craw. This is another one of the colors I wanted to really make sure you got to see. It's like a brown craw. That could, that's a year round. That's a year round oh, yeah. banger. So I this did. one's a four to six. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I got no reason to think that these would not smash. Nope. Again, no experience with this brand, so we'll just have to see for ourselves when we actually get a chance to go fishing. What's your favorite type of jerkbait? What do you use the most? A suspending jerkbait, four to six foot diver. Not even close. Yeah, not that's even close. the one I use the most. Like these. Well, we only got six of them. There you go. So these are the Smith Wicks Pro Rogue. Now the Rogue, it's like a legendary jerkbait. The colorways are crazy. These are like way ahead of their time, I think. Yeah. Like these are colors that just now are like yeah. JDM's always releasing and selling some of these colors. Like this. Some good looking jerk baits here. Now, again, Look at that this is another brand. Like I don't fish Smithwick jerk no, baits. No, never. never done it before. Um, and it's kind of the old school. It is. It is like the like the Rapala old school. It's like some, shape. Of, some of these up here, or even yes. my bombers. Like yes. it's just like a classic jerk bait that I'm sure my grandfather probably fished. Uh, well, we are, I mean, how many how many of these do you have in your box? Because I have three or four right now. I have one. That I've had for years and I never throw. It just sits there. Probably because it's like blue orange chrome. <laughs> that see blue so, orange. Yeah, blue orange is like one of those colors that's just right now not that popular. It's just not one that I go for. But these colors I'm liking a lot more. I'm seeing some like newer colors. Like I'll, this I'll one show right you. Here. Yeah, I'll show you one. In this a second. is like I have a Berkeley Stunna in exactly I was, this color. I was about to say and Berkeley is releasing a lot of these colors and some of the JDM like mm -hmm. the colors that you get in like a, a bento box, which yeah. is something we were talking about earlier. That's like the type of jerkbait colors that you're seeing in some of these schemes. I think this one is a great example of that. So it's a semi-translucent. So this middle part here is semi-translucent. So this is going to wreck in clear water. You can see there's just like a shade of purple right there. You get the yellow on top and then blue to really anchor down the head. And then you get the uh, sort of bait fish pattern right there. Old school pattern. It's got a little, I'm going to try and, there you go. You can see the texture on it. I'm not sure if that matters at all, but overall, yeah. this is a colorway that I would, I would expect from more of a JDM or more like modern style yeah. jerk bait, but it's a three treble jerk bait. It's got the right size hooks. These are straight, not EWG. And uh, I see no reason why these wouldn't absolutely slap. It's my favorite kind of jerk bait. I'm excited to try them out, uh, give it a second chance. Cause like I said, I've owned one for a long time. Yeah. I never fish it. It's just not a brand that I go for when I'm thinking of jerk baits, but I'm sure a lot of you guys do and you're probably yelling at me in the comments. So. I, I'm ready to have my mind changed. We'll find out. Bobby Garland, you ever heard of him? We've used these in the past. I personally have used two or three different types of these plastics. We've used some for ice fishing. We've, we've used some for like crappie panfish yep. techniques. I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. When we got onto the site and we were like perusing, mm -hmm. I had no idea the color selection was this good on the Bobby G's. Yeah. The Bobby Garland color selection. Look at these. Look at this. So we got your electric chick in there. This <laughs> Such is a the, good name. This is a live roamer. So it's a little kind of like fork tail swim bait. This is one of our favorite colors that we actually been fishing this color with mule fishing a lot. It's so this it's, little twist. There's a little yeah. twist on this one. It's the the, the bottom cricket. yellow right there is a little wild. Yep. Which what, Cajun? Cajun, Cajun cricket. cricket. I'll tell you this right now is like the biggest, one of the most slept on colors yep. out there. And then we got these two bad boys right here, which we're looking for oh. some like maybe some top water action or some dock shooting. or or some dock shooting. It's the slab doctor. Get it? Ew. <laughs> so we got that in the electric chicken. We also got this color right here. Which is pretty juicy. That's so gonna be the, the that'll, blue thunder. That'll be the one. Now, uh, one thing I liked about the website, and there's a few things we should mention about the website. You just gotta take your time with the website. So this is a very hyper specific thing, but we were loading up like a ton of stuff, as yeah. you can see. If you're buying a lot at once, this might happen. To you, you just gotta take your time. So when you click an item to add it to your cart, that's what it was. It has a little spinning wheel of death. Let it spin. Wait for the spinning wheel of death. Let Otherwise, it, it will empty your cart. No, it's not gone. <laughs> Hear me out. This You'll is, have a heart attack. This is a You'll technical. 
fall issue. down. <laughs> so we were we loaded our cart. We had like 60 items in there. Yeah. We had spent 30 minutes already. Yeah. And then I was clicking too fast. So it's like loading spinny the item. Spinny wheel. We interrupted spinny wheel. The it, cart disappeared. We're like, what happened? The we were like crashed. so scared. And then two minutes later, everything was back like nothing ever happened. So let Be spinny patient. wheel do his job. Uh, but a couple of things we should mention. There is a chart on there. I think it was a spinner bait chart. And it was just like a, yeah. a black back chart. It was on this big. And it, yeah, it was on the War Eagle. And it basically told you, like, water like, clarity and depth, what you should fish, what type of blade in every situation. It, it was honestly, crazy. I wanted to print it out and get it like like mounted to my kai because it was very, very handy. Yeah. But then you could, this is yeah. made it awesome. You could click into one of those little cells into uh -huh. the chart, and it would just take you right to that item. I to thought, that spinner bait. Honestly, yep. low key, the best explanation mm -hmm. of spinner bait usage I've ever seen. They also made some recommendations for things that match up. So this was matching up with the Bobby Garlands, and I saw them, and I was like, ha. Huh? Why not? Yep. So these are the Crappie Pro Jig Heads. 116 ounce. We got two bags and one for Jeff and I, but if you look really closely, look at the, the shape of that um, yeah. hook. It's like a V shape. I'm here to tell you, I got some Eagle Claws that are similar in shape. Stickiest flipping hook. I, I had trouble getting it out of yep. fish, much less just getting hooked up. So love these. Yep. Excited to match those up. I would love to see LureNet update their site sure. because there was definitely some technical issues. Spinny Wheel needs a little monster energy to get them up. <laughs> If you take your time with it, it's fine. Not but an issue. As a huge pro, I love that they're like, hey, pair it up with this jig. Hey, for this clarity of water, fish this color. Because War Eagle, is, there's so many different types of spinner baits with War Eagle. It is helpful to have something like that, as well as just the different color options and pairing options. So pretty neat. We are officially on home turf. Five like, brands left. This is the mo like th we are just reaching into my tackle box for different colors at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad's tackle box, and my grandpa's tackle and box. And his dad's tackle box. And his dad. <laughs> Maybe his mom's. <laughs> Let's go with Rebel first. So we got Rebel with all the big wins. You guys already know the Pop R is one of our favorite poppers of all time. Extra nice that it's pretty affordable, it's high quality, and it catches gosh dang fish all the time. And even though you're not gonna always love the stock hooks on Rebel, you can swap them out if you have to. But I you're not paying for it. You're not paying an arm and leg for it. So we got the Magnum Pop R because we figured why not? We have like a lot of the regular Pop Rs wanted to do a couple different sizes. So we got the Magnum. Well, and there's just a few things that we have actually not seen before with Rebel either when True. it comes to these. Some new stuff coming in hot in a second. Of course, we restocked our Pop Rs. So we got the Old Bass and then we got the bone color actually. I'm there. here to tell you, so I picked Old Bass for everything because honestly, I've caught more fish with this teeny pop R, more big smallies yeah. on ultralight tackle with the, the bass color. I like them a lot more than the chromes, even though it is a little bit chrome. It's just like one of, it's the fish catchingest yeah. deal out there. Then we got a little different color than we normally did. This is actually called Foxy Shad, which one. is a little bit different. So we got a little bug series. If you guys are familiar with Rebel, you've seen these before. So we got the crawfish crank right there. Also caught more fish with those than almost anything else in the crick. We got the bumble bug. It's a little bumblebee. I've actually had one up here on the wall forever. Yeah, baby. Uh, and it's still the same. <laughs> That's one thing. Rebel, not exactly <laughs> updating all their things all the time. Sometimes adding new baits to the lineup. Not and mad about it. Most often adding like new colors. Uh, so here's actually the most classic color with that bumble bug. Look at that. It's a little, little bee. Little that's bee how, guy. That's how you get the value proposition. Mm -hmm. that, that's how you get the price at a place where if you, instead of maybe getting one, you can get two for the yep. same price as another brand. And then we got a little popping grasshopper. Look at that. It's got a little popping lip on it. It's freaking nuts. I had no idea that these existed. These are called the Rebel, oh, yeah. the Rebel Craw, but this is the big craw. So this Huge. is a, this is like a two and a half inch craw, maybe three inch craw. Look at the size of the, I gotta get one out. Look at that. Juicy. This reminds me so much of some of the new evergreen patterns that are coming out and or have been out since last year. Look at the bell that looks nothing like the other ones. This, this is gonna get some new hooks and this will probably be my new favorite. Look at the detail. This is gonna slap. Oh. My guess is that as this is a six foot diver, four to six. We'll find out. I don't care. This is getting fished. All right, then we got the teeny wee frogs. Look at these little guys. I'd never use one. Just a little itty. I would never grab this off a <coughs> shelf. That's what I'm saying. I'm but so excited. We'll see if we like it. It's got this little hole in the back. I'm curious to see how that behaves with the lip in the front. Here's another one I've never used. This is the humpback. It's a little crankbait. Mm. The color selection is very, yep. very good. Look at that brown. I don't know why I'm so into the brown right now, but I think that is a super juice color. And then we got 
couple of interesting Ooh, ones. So we got a little tiny baby jerk bait here, Dude. a little two treble, the track down. And this is in a sculpin color. And then probably one I was most excited about when I saw it was this one right here. By far. Which is called the Raider. But it's like a- It's a Raider. It's like a hybrid between like a topwater walking bait and a jerk yeah. bait. Like you get like kind of the best of both worlds. So it's gonna get a little subsurface yep. and then you're gonna walk it. Like, yeah. A slow sinker, it says walks the dog below surface. BFS written all over it. Talking about language. Figuratively. All right. <laughs> so there's Rebel. So that's Rebel. Oh, and the, you know, pow. Oh, Rebel. Rebel. <laughs> Say it. What is your favorite topwater company that just makes only topwater lures? I know Paul's. This is mine. <laughs> For sure. So we got some head in. Hard to argue. Like, I mean, when you come out with the, the Super Spook, Super Spook Junior, like. The, it's, the it's, tiny torpedo. I don't know. Everything since then is kind of building off of this, like so all these dope. other brands are. Uh, but yeah, so we picked up Super Spook Junior in colors that we definitely do not have. No. So we got the full chartreuse and the chartreuse in black just to mess around with some different so styles of this bait that we know and love. Now you've seen us fish the crazy crawler. It didn't work, honestly, it just didn't work the way that we wanted it, it to work. Not. It was okay, this, but this is the junior size and I'm very excited to try these ones. Yeah. We love a good walking bait, they're fun to fish and when they get blown up on, you can just go home happy, like you're yep. good, no big deal. Excited to try both of these. These are colors that are actually gonna slap black, white, uh, and then yellow, red. Like they're, they're gonna stick out. So I'm excited for these ones. And I would have been surprised at Paul if he didn't get a teeny torpedo, since you got a torpedo. I'd have to fire myself. Pillow. <laughs> <laughs> but we got the teeny torpedo here in, uh, I think this is like leopard frog. Brown crawdad, not you, even close. <laughs> it's hard to have more fun. Yeah. Then watching that tiny little thing go and, and then, then get boom! And like so we're almost down to the end here. Three brands left. Two of these brands we bought like everything from. <laughs> and actually there was another one, Great Lex Finesse, which is in a different video. You yeah. guys will see another time. Which we literally bought everything. Yeah. So we tried to control ourselves with War Eagle because we could have gone way over the top. <laughs> yeah. But we went over the top with Yum we sure and did. with Booyah. We sure did. So let's, let's do the War Eagle. We got some War Eagles. Okay, so there's only one non-wire bait with the War Eagles that we picked up, and that's this War Eagle football jig that I'm pretty excited about, the pro football, sorry. So half ounce, natural, and Frank's Blue Craw. The pricing on these is insane. Yeah. The, the value proposition with War Eagle is extremely hard to argue against. Yep. That goes for the jigs, that goes for the buzz baits, and that goes for probably is what most people know these four, which is the spinner baits. So really interesting like line tie section on this. That's what really intrigued me the most. I got a little extra glue on mine sticking out from that brush guard. So that's, you know, whatever, a little quality control there. Uh, and then if I look down here, you got your molded bait keeper. Pretty sharp boy there. They're I'm excited just, to try it out. And they're just gonna work. Yep. All right, War Eagle, probably best known, probably best known for their spinner baits. Uh, this one is a 3 8 ounce. I will get it out for you. And I think this is a prime example of why people like these so much. So you're just getting straight up value, but also quality. So there is your spinner bait. This is a willow with a little tiny Colorado. And then you get this bullet head. This is, I think, probably the most standard uh, well-recognized feature on these, just a clean, simple design, and then just very effective. Here's your hook, there's your bait keeper, there's your hook. These They're are all gold. And this is the gold, which I've honestly, I, we were talking about this when we bought them, I've never seen like the gold wire and the gold head. So super excited to try this one. Yeah, or how often do you see it? And then there's two more here also with that gold blade. We got the uh, little green pumpkin, black chartreuse. And then we got the white and chartreuse, of course. Double willows, can't go wrong, three eighths of an ounce. And then we went something a little different. The hammered series from War Eagle, which is pretty awesome. So you got your hammered blade, uh, willow and Colorado, silver with kind of a, this one's got like red, white and blue glitters yeah. on it. This was like a custom color they had going on. It's called Firecracker. At least I think it's custom. I'm probably wrong, but there you go. So you got like red, white, and blue in there. This thing is freaking nuts. I'm excited to try it out. That's awesome. Next up, we don't have blade baits. We have buzz baits. I said blade, ba blade baits for no reason three times. These are buzz baits. <laughs> Just gonna open up the craziest one right there. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, also probably the second, what they're well known for or most well known for, which is a bonkers buzz bait certified catchers. That's what these are. We could have bought 10,000 baits just from War Eagle alone, but we wanted to give you guys as much of a showcase as possible from the brands on this website. Yep, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. <laughs> So obviously I saw this bad boy in purple. Oh my gosh, of course I had to grab this thing. Now, funny thing is I don't own any War Eagle Buzzbaits, do you? Yeah, two. Cool. 
You're a neat guy. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of other different brands, but I've never had a War Eagle, so I'm excited to try these these out. I mean, it looks juicy as all heck. Get the red and white here with like a little glow sticker on, like a glitter sticker on there. That is interesting. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't work. Yeah, why uh, wouldn't it? And then it's you flashy get and crazy. Black and gold, which is always like a big time sleeper. Big sleeper. Yeah. So the next two brands, like you, are, you already, yum. you already know. You already know. <laughs> yep. There's apple juice. There's juice built in. It's already there. One of the cool things that we noticed on the website is they seem to do a lot of these like limited releases. So here's an example of one. This is a graffiti series for the Booyah One Knocker. Uh, it's pretty freaking rad. It's like crazy turquoise looking. I got these out of the way got. here. Let's take a closer look. So you get this like, I don't even know, like foil almost? I don't know. Like man. a glitter foil, but it's very clean. It's not textured, so it's the same tech. Well, it's a little bit textured. It's the same as a normal Booyah One Knocker, but it has this bond. The light's going to play on this like in an insane way. Um, I have no idea if it's going to be like the fish catching this thing in the world or if it's just a gimmick, but I'll tell you right now, I'm, cool. I'm going to fish the poop out of it. And then you get this really, you know, chartreuse, orange yeah. bellies, black, like all the different like versions of these. Uh, and it's a one knocker, so yep. like certified. Yeah, it feels like normal. I thought it was going to be like sticky or glittery, but it's got the same clear coat as the rest of the bait. Looks super good. Uh, right. So we have 1,800 of those. So yep. lipless season is like tomorrow. Okay, and then of course we grab like the OG for the frogs of choice for us. Argu is, arguably the best frog ever designed. It's one of the best for sure, but the Booyah Pad Crasher. So we got that in a couple different colors and a couple different sizes. So we got of course the Pad Crasher Junior, which is one that I gravitate towards a lot a bit more. This is one of the best colors of frog ever. I don't even care that you can't see the bottom. I don't know what it is about this frog, got more fish on this exact frog than any other frog, I think. If you're looking for a good all-around frog that is affordable, it's definitely these. They're super nice and plush. The hook angle is already set and good. You can trim the skirts however you want, but it's good quality material and you're going to be happy with them just, no matter just, what. Just fish, 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 fish. Just fish, fish them. Uh, another one of the better Booyah baits that are out there, uh, they use Hildebrand uh, blades, which I, you know, I know that these ones work. This is the Finesse Covert series. So a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller. These are three but it's like a really compact design. You can see how much smaller that is, a little bit smaller than a regular uh, 3 8 size spinner baits, and then not the super thick skirt. So enough to mm. provide uh, like a little bit of body, but not Subtle. enough to overwhelm. And then look at the size of those blades. They're downsized for sure. Then we got a couple different types of these coverts as well with those different types of blades. So testing out like the Indiana and whatever other ones there are out there. Uh, I actually don't even remember which one's which because we basically never fish anything but Colorado and willow blades. We know that these will definitely be effective and work. So those are pretty rad. And then there's one that you should always get. I'm opening it up because you can't even see it against the black of the packaging. But this mm -hmm. is a spinner bait that I feel like nobody buys. Not many people buy, uh, but everyone should have. So we all have a lot of trouble when the when the rivers especially get blown out or when our lake very is dirty. flipping. And it's very dirty and mucky and you're like, mm -hmm. I have to, I'm just not going to catch anything. How am I going to catch fish? Well, this is one amazing way to do things in dark water. You get one big heavy thumping Colorado blade with a big giant jig head uh, and all black. This is a crazy effective combo when the water's dark. And again, it's just something that not a lot of people carry that I really think you should. And we obviously do because I always get one whenever I see it. Underrated. Another one I'm not sure enough people are grabbing is a multi-bladed. So it's actually, it's funny, the third blade is stuck up there, but there's three blades on there. They also sell like a four and I think even a five blade version of these, but this is called the mini shad. You're getting so an A-rig like territory with this one where yeah. it's kind of the same concept of like a, a bunch of little school. bait school and you're just like, yeah, let's go get them. Those things are money. We yeah. got them in three sixteenths of an ounce. So a little lighter, finessier type setup and mm -hmm. just burn that baby. But I've caught just an insane amount of fish 100. on those. Oh, affordability to the max like this is the one pond magic a little three pack of just baby spinner baits and they all have a dual blade so they're actually willow blade colorado blade which is pretty freaking cool cool usually, colors usually you just get the colorado on these little yeah. mini guys but these could be easily used for uh bfs fishing but they're a little bit on the less expensive side so they got yeah. like the banded skirt and a couple other things that make them a little bit less expensive but like a super affordable quality mm -hmm. spinner bait that you can just catch any fish like that swims it's they, you just can't miss with this there's three pack they actually do also have a three pack for their buzz baits too which is cool so just little pond kits man you just grab this and you've got every color you could need for the day no matter what pond you land at one of the first walleye I ever caught casting was on one of those. 
I just love those things. And then, we I mean, we got the same color because why wouldn't you? Dirt. We gotta go purple. So we got two of the little pond buzzers here from Booyah. Just little baby buzz bait. Uh, I've got these in now a couple different brands. So we got the uh, Jigmasters, we got the Strike King. Yeah. I wanted to try the Booyah and that way we could go BFS with these, kind of go head to head on them. So. Boom. The, the Booyah Pond Buzz Bait in yeah. red and black was the first Buzz Bait bite that I ever got as well. I might have had the same on a Strike King. Same, similar color. I love it. The red and black. Love it. There you go. So that's Booyah. You can't miss with freaking, you can't miss with Booyah. As we mentioned, there are some things that we're not familiar with within each one of these brands. Mm -hmm. One example of that is the double bladed buzz. I, that bad boy out. like what, like what are we? Get it, get it out. Frankly, I have no idea how or if or when this will work, but honestly, I don't really, like they're hitting each other. Oh, it's already squeaky. Listen. You hear that? Yeah. So squeakiness is like something that uh, when people are like tuning and designing you uh, buzz baits, they they want the they want to get that squeakiness because yeah. that is one of these sounds that's drawing fish in. And like some people, uh, who was it? Bill C. Antel was talking about how people used to put these on Out their the antennas, car. which yeah. no one has antennas on their cars anymore. <laughs> but if you did, it's like a metal stick that's like on the front of your car. You would put this on it and, and just like let the, the wind like break these in, so they would start yep. to get squeaky. This one's already squeaky. So I don't know. They're clacking against each other. Noises is great it looks like they they have no problem spinning so like i don't see why this wouldn't work uh, i'm a hundred percent down to clown with this one so now we get to the extremely value conscious brand oh. within all these value conscious brands which would be yum and uh yeah you can't really go wrong with it so paul needed one of these i have one of these i fished this in alabama and, at it, the tournament. and it definitely banks so here's the yumbrella the flash mob junior there you go sir thanks and then <laughs> <laughs> instantly throws it imperceptibly the garbage. You need some swim baits for that. So we checked out what they generally recommend, which is a Scottsboro swim bait for those. Now, this is an insane amount of plastic. They big boys. It's it's a lot of packaging. Oh, the packaging. There. There's a lot of packaging. A little bit bigger swim bait yep. though, with a heavy, heavy belly sole, which yep. is a pretty cool thing that I think a lot um some companies are getting more into is making like really like a lot of belly in the swim yep. bait. So this fits in with sort of like the newest style. I mean, this is just gonna thump. 3.5 inches, and look at that, it says phenomenal with the Umbrella Flash Mob Jr. Get them, baby, go. get them. Okay. Obviously we're smart, so we picked up some dangers. You, got, you can't go wrong with these No. Things. So a couple different colors here. We got the Elder's Magic. I know my boy picked that out. Oh yeah. Uh, I grabbed the Melon Pie, a little green pumpkin, little chartreuse. We also got the slightly upsized version of the dinger as well. A couple different sizes will do you well. So we got this in Gilly Suit. It's got a little bit of copper flake in there. That's the juice. And then we also got GB Haze, a little like green pumpkin and blue. So this is something I didn't know existed. And then the second I saw it on the website, it was like, Gotta do must it. try. So this is the Craw Bug uh, Junior. So there's, is it say Junior? No, it's just yep. the Craw Bug, but there's two sizes, a two and a half inch and then I think a three, two, five. Mm -hmm. But look at like, the detail is absurd. The color is amazing. The Oof. color like had me just rolling. I love this. It's like a, a really green, green pumpkin, like a muted green pumpkin on top with a really like shocking orange. But look at the detail. Like, even the back here where the, the tail flips over is all intact. Uh, I love the small size. You got all the appendages. They're hollow too. Like it's a tube. I'm so excited. It's a tube. Look at it. There's a lot of ways to rig that. This. There's a lot of ways to rig this between yeah. floating, uh, it's just so Here's many the ways. Full size. Yeah, so we're gonna have to definitely mess around with these. The full size has some body, but the colors yeah. are really good. So we did get like a the standard green pumpkin, and then the watermelon. I will say the watermelon with that red flake is it's gonna be good. It's a very. It's like what you think of when you think of watermelon. It's it is crispy. The colors just come out unreal. You know what else is going to be fun, Paul? Yes. Fishing these algorithmites. <laughs> yeah. Look at those halgies. So this is a bait, I mean, it came out last year, right? Came and out last year. It has been banging off the shelf like crazy, and we never picked up any of them. Well, why not? So what's the, why, I had, the why reason not? I don't have these is because I have like five bags of Nico of the Nico version of these. Indestructible. Now there's a, there's, there, I'm not, this is not naysaying either version. So let's just talk about these first. So a Helgramite, it's a bug that lives in the river, and this size in particular, this sort of like mid-range size, not too small, not too big. There's a ton of different ways to fish it. You can't really miss. Yep. Uh, I will say this, the best colors, 
in general, just normal average conditions, nothing blown out, nothing super clear, is going to be some sort of like muddy brown, brown yep. color. And, and it will not wow you. You will mm -hmm. not be like, oh, it's so quick. Cute. But it will be the one that catches the most. And then yep. on the opposite spectrum, it, it's almost like anything super bright. Like this? Like this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Bubblegum lemon swirl. Look at that, dude. That's insane. The pink and orange. Especially, this is, yeah, when the water's blown out, that's a great way to do it. And then when, the, guys, water, when the water's more clear, you yeah. can move away to something a little, a little sparkle. Super in. natty colors. And this color is, I want to, fool's gold. So it's just the regular color that I would yep. normally pick with some gold flash in it. But I'm telling you right now, so the these are like very inexpensive compared to Nico Bates. Nico Bates is a very more expensive version. However, they yep. both have their pros and cons. You're going to get a higher count in these, but these are going to rip more often. They're not going to last as long. But again, yeah. they're just cheaper. So if you want to try three colors, this is definitely the way to go. Or if you want the budget option, th these are all great. And the color selection is massive. So we love that. It's insane. On the Nico side, they just they stretch a little more. They have a really, the mold is almost identical. They're like, basically they're indestructible. Basically the they have a million appendages. Yep. It's all essentially the same. Yeah. I mean, but these ones, from a color perspective, yep. this is probably, I think this is, they kind of take yep. the edge. I really think so. Yep. And we blame Creek Fish and Adventures for our interest in these baits. The last bait of the day. <laughs> the one, that, I, the last bait of the day up here, uh, super excited about because well, something we're hearing about more often and something that we've been tinkering with the last two years uh, is forward facing sonar this one came yep. out at a time like honestly maybe a little too early arguably too early yep. this is the sonar minnow setup so this is really meant to uh using that forward face sonar or some sort of live imaging for you to be able to watch how fish are reacting find a pile of fish and then just like absolutely pick them apart mm -hmm. which i love so we're going to show you this setup right here but it basically consists of a straight tail minnow the sonar minnow so you can kind of see the profile right there seems not very complex but it's got a nice flat side so this flat side we always talk about like how could you potentially design a bait to really show up on forward facing sonar a flat side gives something to reflect off of uh, and that really is going to make it show and pop on your screen a little bit yeah so it's just you know a juicy looking little minnow guy nice soft plush plastic yep and then you've got a big gigantic jig head <laughs> that also Quarter ounce. This think, is the biggest one. Is a quarter ounce. I mean, they're they're painted pretty heavily. You can see you got to chip the eye eyelid out of this one, uh, for example. But they got that same hook bend that we like. You're gonna pin fish really easily with that, and these should show up really swell on your forward facing sonar. Yeah, and these are really again this these are more to create like a hovering action versus like a straight retrieve. So more vertical, more get yep. dialed with like, like a floaty plastic and uh, you know, get right where you need to be and stay there. Oh, it even says right on here, built to pair with the FF sonar head. Oh, that explains why they put FF on it. No way, I didn't even realize that. I did when we bought them. Oh, that's cool. That's why we got them. So I'm really excited to try these out, especially because we do have some forward facing units and it's just gonna be a fun new way to fish. And again, I've never tried these, so. I'm ready for that. Super neat. So there we go. That was a lot of baits. Ton of baits, a ton of really well-respected uh, old school companies that have legacy of catching big fish uh, and, yep. and really just not needing to change. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's kind of trusty dusty. That's where a lot of this stuff lives. Value conscious, quality, and mm -hmm. then like proven design. Like that's what you're getting with every single one of these. And like, it, we talked about it, like some of yep. our favorite baits, one of my favorite frogs, one of my favorite buzz baits, one of my favorite spinner baits, like a five of, of my favorite plastics, like yeah. some of my favorite top waters, like every yeah. single one with some very few exceptions of brands I've just haven't used yet. Yeah. But every single one that I have has one of my all time, not just like, oh, I like this one and that one. No, like some of my, like I've said it a million times, some mm -hmm. of my all time favorite baits. And not just our favorites, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a, these are fan favorites. Hundred percent as well. So, respect to these companies. Uh, but yeah, shout outs to you know the guys over at Pradco for hooking us up with a gift card so we could actually experience a whole bunch of this different stuff and standing behind their brands. Mm -hmm. There was no like when they reached out, they they said before we even got to like do whatever you want. We want you to say whatever you want because they believe in what's going to be said about their brands because they just yeah. have quality stuff. I believe the email subject line was no strings attached. A eh? And I was like, mm. all right. We will also be doing a showcase on Great Lakes Finesse, so check out that video. And if it has, if this video hasn't aired by this time, we are talking to the guy from Great Lakes Finesse, and that will be on March 13th. On so our live stream. If you can tune in for a live, we are live 8.15 p.m. Eastern, right on YouTube. So we'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe and all that other cool stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one, okay? Okay. Should we go viral? <laughs> <laughs>